Okay. Six to ten. Hopefully this works. Uh, there. Slideshow. Come on, come on. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. So. So. Tesla. He was like very overlooked because of all his predecessors and everyone in his century such as thomas edison and more so he was the one who was making like all the groundbreaking work he was really good he like he led x-ray technology and he pioneered like uh renewable energy like hydro energy he made some of those and uh, he was just really overlooked. And he made the first uh, alternating current motor, the AC, uh, and worked on more AC, uh, you know, generators and technology. Uh, Edison, as I said, was a big enemy of his, and a lot of people stole his work as, and that's why he had this quote. Otherwise, he wouldn't have that quote. So I guess, like, the people who stole his work, like, may have took his work, but he got this cool quote out of it. I guess that's a fair trade. Okay, so um, uh, so he was schooled uh, at the Technical University of Graz over here. And he studied philosophy at the University of Prague. Prague? This one. And uh, he moved to Paris and worked on repairing direct current power plants, not the AC, direct. And he, uh, with the Continental Edison Company, he later moved to New York in 1884 and got a job at Thomas Edison's Manhattan headquarters. That's pretty cool. Okay. So Edison's influence on Tesla. So Edison was very impressed with like Tesla's work and his like intelligence. So Edison made Tesla work on the circuit, uh, like the lighting system on the organ. The organ was one of the first electrical lighted boats over here. And then it sank like all good boats, obviously. I always feel like all the boats sink and they like never are just like there. They like either sink and are never heard of again. They never are just like kept in the dock and like they make their rounds and then they just stay there, continue making rounds and they put into museum. Never heard of a boat. <laughs> okay. Um, Anyway, uh, he uh, was re also rebuilding uh, direct uh, current generators, um, and he had to do more. Uh, Edison told Tesla that he would pay like fifty grand um, for a better DC Danimo, uh, Dan Danimos design, and uh, after a lot of hard work and months later, Tesla gave him the design. But Edison didn't give him the money because he said it was a joke. So, yeah, Tesla was pretty mad. He kind of resigned shortly after. So, like, if Edison just gave him the 50k, he could have, like, profited so much off of Tesla. He was like, Tesla, he had, like, x-ray work. He had AC generators, which we still use as our primary source of energy today what else he had hydro uh, energy things you know like at niagara falls the big hydro stuff and there was more but we'll get to it later uh so he started fail he's failed at starting his own company tesla and he started digging holes for only two dollars a day not an hour a day and some donors decided to risk it on him and gave him some money. He got more than 30, 30 patents in 1887. Then a year later, because of his inventions, 
uh, the American Institute of Electrical Engineers wanted to talk to Tesla. I mean, wanted Tesla to talk to them on his studies. <laughs> and then George Westinghouse, this dude over here, old dude, you know, old. Uh, he was very impressed by Tesla's inventions and employed him. <laughs> okay. Tesla was gave a lab by Westinghouse, like his own lab, and had a bunch of patents for his AC motor by Westinghouse. This is all possible because like Westinghouse is cool. And um, so Edison really like hated and just wanted to sabotage his competition, which was obviously the AC, the alternating current generators instead of Edison's DC uh, direct uh, current generators. Uh, Edison really thought that DC was way better, but uh, here we are now and AC is still the most used power source. So Edison um, had a convicted murderer be killed by an AC powered electric chair. Scary, yeah electricity uh this stunt was pulled off to show that the ac uh, powered and westinghouse standards are very dangerous and just go with edison's direct because why not uh so with westinghouse's royalties tesla went out to work for him on different projects but then westinghouse's Donators, contributors, whatever you want to call them, uh, kind of forced him to renegotiate the contract with Tesla, and he kind of lost his royalty rights. So, like, now he's kind of... Uh, so, Tesla did other stuff, too. Uh, he improved electric meters, uh, oscillators. What is that? Uh, 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 I'm gonna switch to it. I'm gonna switch to like a different tab for a second. Hold up. I wanna know. Uh, scopators. Hold it wrong. Ask. Ask. E. Oscillator. Oh, it's a little thing that um, kind of. So an oscillator generates energy and stuff like that. He also improved the light bulbs, which Edison made, but Tesla made them better because Tesla is just way better than Edison. He also tested X rays and he used short range radio communication and he piloted a remote control boat two years two years before uh this dude this dude who is the dude who stole a lot of tesla's work he was one of the main bad guys of tesla's story anyway tesla and westinghouse also partnered with general electric to establish the first modern day power station uh with ac generators at niagara falls over here. I'm pretty sure that's Westinghouse. Like 90% sure. Uh, anyway, so um, let me think. Give me a second. They also, with uh, General Electric, they made the world's first Colombian expedition in Chicago. Anyway, so this is where Tesla kind of like goes downhill. So, Tesla's New York lab set ablaze, destroying years works, a year's worth of nodes, work, and supplies. Here it is, his lab, destroyed, gone. And uh, so, J.P. Morgan, a funder, gave Tesla some more funds to make International Communication Network a thing on the massive tower at this place on Long Island. So, but the funds depleted and Morgan, like, had to pull out of there before Tesla ruined all his money. So,
so and then Tesla demise. He started falling downhill real fast. It went like this. He was like doing great, doing great, doing great, and then downhill. Like great, 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 straight. <laughs> okay, so Tesla lip oops, sorry. Sorry. Uh Tesla lived his final decades in a New York hotel and his mental and physical health were just deteriorating there. So he perished in his room on January 7th, 1943. Uh, like, uh, soon, like, years later, the U.S. Supreme Court nullified four of, uh, this dude, remember I talked about him? Macaroni? Uh, yeah, we're just gonna call him Macaroni. Uh, nullified four of, uh, Macaroni's key patents giving Tesla his innovations in the radio, even though hardly anyone recognizes him. And the AC system he cherished and enhanced, still the international standard for power transmission. That just shows that if you're just that good and you don't have to sabotage your enemies, you can do some great stuff. Okay, I also have some cards. Hold up. Uh, so... Tesla, yeah, he had a lot of enemies. Uh, Edison was one of his big competitors. Uh, uh, Macaroni is often, remember him? Macaroni, that dude, is often referred to as the inventor of the radio, even though he had to use like 17 of Tesla's patents to make it. So like, Macaroni kind of piggybacked off of Tesla. Tesla was the real person who started this. Uh, so Tesla also invented one of the first remote controls. Uh, he called it a telegramming nation, whatever. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Right here. Uh, his remote control boat. Two years. Two years before Macaroni. This just shows Macaroni's bad. He steals ideas. And Tesla is a real person. Uh, he also got some of the first x-rays of humans. He called them shadow graphs. Pretty cool name. I would have preferred shadow graphs. Actually, x-rays and shadow graphs are really cool. <laughs> They're really cool names. And he was one of the first scientists to hypothesize that x-rays could be harmful to the human body. Possibly kill. Uh, he also created the... Hydro stations, like renewable energy. Where was that? Uh, this one, right there. Yeah. With the electric uh, company. It was really cool. Those hydro. And he was one of the lead contributors towards clean energy. He was very respectable and a formidable opponent. And a colleague. Uh, so much of his groundbreaking work was really stolen and he just shrugged it off saying the exact same quote as he said at the beginning right there yeah he's cool like that people steal his ideas he gets quote uh so he was just really respectable because he didn't stoop down to their level steal any of their ideas or like stop them from growing off of his ideas uh he could have easily been, like, the very best of the century. He could have been one of the most amazing renovators, like, had, like, so... He could have been just, like, really cool and known, such as uh, Thomas Edison, who only made a light bulb. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sure that's not all Thomas, Thomas made. Anyway. Uh, but it... Uh, he didn't because he didn't want to stoop down to his opponent's levels or overprotect his work. So he never got the credit he deserved. It was really deserved credit. I feel like Tesla was one of the more forgotten kind of um, scientists. And uh, he was like a great man and the father of a lot of things. So we got our research paid. Because all great papers and projects have a resource page. We got one source, two source, three source, four source, five source. All in MLA. M L A. Nine. Yeah. 
Oh, and I'm all day nine, of course. Uh, I think this is it. Uh, so I'm just gonna shine off now. Peace.